just exposed rooms right there on the corner. Forgive the sun here, but. You can tell there's just holes in that whole corner of the building. It's missing windows, just exposed right into the rooms. As we head north out of Punta Gorda, we're going over the bridge, and I'm showing here this new Allegiant Airlines resort that's been being built. It's an amazing little piece of controversy along the whole way, but if you look on the water side of this, you can see all of the scaffolding had been blown down. And what's interesting is several of these cranes came down during the storm. I'm going to zoom out as we go over this so you can get a better look at it. But if you take a look on that left side, you'll see all the crooked walls. That's the scaffolding. Now, on the right-hand side, you can see where the... Um, some of the siding, or, or I guess what's under the siding, has already come off. You can see sections of that, uh, quite a bit of the scaffolding down altogether. Now look right at the end of this yellow part of the building. Nope, I take that back. It's on the second building. Look at the red crane here. You'll notice that it's it has fallen off of its stand, and it is just bent right down into about the top floor. Now if you look to the right, there's another crane right here on this left corner beyond the parking garage it broke in half the bottom half of it swung down inside and took out the bottom two and a half floors or so of the building really is amazing to see what the power of the wind can actually be uh, they have been working on this now since the hurricane brought another crane out but everything still looks exactly like this today 
on October the 16th as well. So right up here is this uh, housing development, mobile home housing development that's always had the Canadian and American flags out front. It looks like their fence did not fare very well at all, but ironically enough, the houses appear to have done fairly well, which is amazing. Um, and Maple Leaf is the name of this community. So where the fence came down, the backside of some of these trailers, I know they're rough in there. <coughs> there's quite a bit of damage in there. I see a lot of roofs off and siding of buildings and whatnot, but they're standing. They're not a pile of rubble. So that is good news. Real good news, quite frankly. China looks like it's all boarded up. The mobile seems to be open. Starbucks isn't looking promising, but I'm gonna go actually. I might see a light on in there. Who knows? Normally there's always cars here, so it would surprise me if it's okay. It's only so we'll try going around. It's amazing to me the banks that have alarms going off like that, which is crazy. 